Bwana asifiwe kanisa. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya kutupatia siku nyingine ambayo ni ya Jumapili tarehe 17 Mei ambayo kwa technology tunakufikia nyumbani ili tuweze kuwa na ibada yetu ya siku ya leo na Mungu akubariki na tutabarikiwa pamoja. Tutaanza kwa maombi na tuombe. Mwenyezi Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakaribia patakatifu pako asubuhi hii ambayo umetupa. Tuko na shukrani kwa maana hata kukiwa na janga hili ambalo linatuzingira tuko na nafasi ya kuabudu pamoja na tuko na nafasi ya kuja mbele zako na kama kanisa kutunaungana katika mitambo ili tuweze kuinua jina lako. Tunakushukuru kwa maana we ni Mungu nyakati zote, wakati wa furaha we ni Mungu, wakati wa huzuni unabaki kuwa Mungu. Hata wakati huu ambao ambao dunia iko na mzigo mkubwa, tunajua bado we ndiye Mungu na bado we ndiye daktari wetu. Tunaona ukitubariki na tunajua kwamba mazuri yatafanyika kwa maana uko pamoja na sisi. Wewe hauna sifa ya kuacha watu wako. Hauna sifa ya kutalaki watu wako. Uko na sifa ya kuishi pamoja na watu wako na kuwabariki. Ndio maana tunasema ni asanti sana asubuhi ya leo. Tunakuomba Mwenyezi Mungu tunapoendelea na hii ibada uwe pamoja na sisi. Utuongoze, utushike mkono. Na wale walio nyumbani ambao wanatusikiza wakati huu, tunaomba uwaneemeshe baraka zako. Asubuhi njema Mungu tunaomba utusamehe dhambi zetu zile ambazo tumekukosea tunajua Mungu kwamba we ni mvumilivu na ndio maana tunasongea mbele zako tukiomba ututakaze ili hata ile dhabihu tutatoa siku ya leo iwe ya kukubalika machoni pako na tunaomba hayo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu amen Asante sana tutaendelea kusikiza neno la, kutu, la kutuongoza siku ya leo na nitasoma kwa lugha ya Kiingereza Inasema You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord. Nirudie, you shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord. Amen. Wakati huu tutakaribisha praise and worship ili tuweze kuendelea. Sante. Praise and worship. Asante praise and worship Mungu aendelee kutubariki na kuwabariki pia. Asante pia kwa kutokea siku ya leo na mnaendelea bila kuchoka Mungu awabariki. Wakati huu tutasikia matangazo yetu. Asante. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Leo ni siku jema ambayo Mungu ametupa. Na ningependa kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote the viewers wenye wanatazama katika ninga katika simu zao ningependa kuwakaribisha nyinyi wote na haya ndio matangazo siku ya leo 
tunaomba tuendelee kudonate food stuffs kwa wale watu kwa zile familia ambazo ziko less fortunate zile zimeshikwa na hili janga la corona tunaomba muweze kudonate something ndio tuweze ku support those families eh tuna, tunaendelea kuombea familia ambayo ambazo ziko na mzigo kubwa kama zile ambao wameachwa na familia na wapendwa wao we have two members in our church kuna Dolin Makena wa Bidishiba ambaye aliachwa na mzazi wake na tuna Susan wa Elimo kutoka Judea ambaye ameachwa na mtoto wake tuendelee kuombea hizo familia na hayo mazishi yalikuwa ya Friday both barrios ilikuwa ya Friday na wote wamemaliza hiyo kwa hivyo tuendelee kusimama na hizo familia e, naomba tuendelee kutoa matoleo yetu na matoleo yetu yote tuendelee kuyatoa kupitia kwa paybill number 918615 na hata kwa equity account ni 09502727 2462 Hadio matagaso ya siku ya leo Mungu awabariki na watende na watende mema asanteni Asante sana Elder Joseph Gataka kwa matangazo hayo na pia tunaendelea kukumbushwa kwamba yale mambo ambayo serikali inaendelea kutuambia kuhusu kunawa mikono kukaa mbali na mtu kama mita moja mita mbili na pia kuvaa barakoa au mask pia tuendelee kusisitiza ili tusipate na huu ugonjwa lakini hii ni kitu ambacho hiki ni kitu ambacho Mungu atatusaidia na kitaisha kwa hivyo inaitwa storm Storm ni hiyo dhoruba na huwa haikai sana. Kwa hivyo hata saa hii tuendelee kutii serikali na tuendelee kumtegemea Mungu, tuendelee kumuomba na hili janga litaisha na maisha yataendelea vizuri. Mungu ako pamoja nasi. Asante. Wakati huu nitaalika msomaji wa neno la leo tukiendelea. Asante karibu sister. Somo letu la leo tutalipata kutoka kitabu cha Isaya 62 verses 1 to 5 For Zion's sake I will not keep silent and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her vindication goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory and you shall be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will give You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called by daylight my daylight is in her and your land mend for the Lord delights in you. And your land shall be married for a young man ma- for as a young man marries a virgin so shall your sons marry you and as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride so shall your god rejoice over you our second reading shall come from the book of acts chapter 11 from verses 19 to 21 scattered because of the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia and Cyprus and Antioch speaking the word of the word to none except Jews but there were some of them men of Cyprus and Cyrene 
who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Greeks also, preaching the Lord Jesus. And the hand of the Lord was with them. And a great number that, received, that believed turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem. And they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God, he was grand, and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. That is the word of the Lord. Asante dada yetu kwa kutusomea vizuri sana. Kabla sijawalika wanakwaya waweze kutuongoza katika wimbo wa kualika mnenaji wa leo, kuna kitu nitaongea juu yake ambacho kinaitwa afya. Afya, kuna aina tatu za afya. Afya ya kwanza ni afya ya mwili. Afya ya pili ni afya ya roho. Na afya ya tatu ni afya ya akili. Afya ya mwili hupatikana wakati mtu anakula chakula vizuri, ama chakula kizuri na pia anafanya mazoezi anaoga akigonjeka anakunywa ama anakula dawa na maisha yanaendelea vizuri kuna afya ambayo ni ya roho hiyo hupatikana wakati mtu anasoma biblia wakati anaomba wakati anatoa ushuhuda wakati anaimba nyimbo za kumsifu Mungu na roho inajengeka afya ya tatu ni ya akili na hii afya hupatikana wakati mtu anachagua kile ambacho ataona na macho yake na kile atasikia na kule ataenda. Ukizoea sana kusikiza mambo ya huu ugonjwa sababu kuna watu wanaangalia vile watu wanakufa ni kama ni mpira wanaangalia. Lakini hiyo kitu ikiingia ndani yako sana sana huwa inaanza ku affect ama inaanza kusumbua akili. Unasikia mtu akitaka akiamka tu asubuhi anataka kujua ni wangapi walikufa, ni wangapi wamepona, ni wangapi wameenda hospitali. Unasikia mtu a, anasema ugonjwa utanipata, hiyo huwa inaleta huzuni ndani ya mwili wako. Sasa nataka kuomba kama unasikia hiki kitu kikikusumbua, kiki tafadhali ondokea hayo matangazo kidogo. Ni wakati wa kuangalia u afya ya akili zetu ili ukiangalia mambo ambayo yanakufura yale kile kinakufurahishanga fikiria juu yake ni wakati wa kuangalia hata kama huonangi katun angalia katun ile itakuchekesha kama sio hivyo jifungie kwa nyumba weka wimbo mmoja wa kumsifu Mungu dance kidogo zunguka kidogo sababu hivyo ndivyo mtu hujenga afya yake ya akili tunataka hata wakati tutakaporudi kanisani tupate watu ambao hawana afya ya mwili ama ya, ya roho peke yake ila watakuwa na afya ya akili pia so tafadhali nawaomba wapendwa tuangalie afya ya akili zetu na Mungu atatubariki wanakwaya karibuni
Asante wana kwaya kwa sababu ya wimbo mwema ambao mmetuongoza na wakati huu tutaomba ili tuweze kumkaribisha mnenaji wa siku ya leo tuombe. Ewe Mwenyezi Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuko na shukrani maana umetuongoza vizuri na tumeona mkono wako ukiwa juu yetu. Wakati huu ambao tutasikiza neno lako tunaomba utayarishe roho zetu ili kile ambacho tutasikia kipate kumea ndani yetu na kibadilishe maisha yetu. Na tunaomba hayo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwokozi wetu. Amen. Karibu sista. Kwa kunikaribisha Asubuhi njema nimeokoka kwa majina ni Juli Washera Wanjohi. Lakini nitageuzia kutoka kwa Kiswahili niende kwa lugha ya Kimombo. I thank the Lord for the wonderful day that he has given us this beautiful Sunday that we are gathered here to worship him, to praise him, to glorify him and to honor him. God has been so faithful and we just want to thank him for what he has done for us. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts. We want to bless you, to honor you, and to exalt your holy name. Thank you for who you are in our lives, Jehovah God. We have seen your mighty hand working in our lives, King of all glory. We have seen you standing with us even this pandemic time, O oh Jehovah God. And we just want to glorify you. As we hear from you, Lord, may you help us to be still before you and know that you are God. Let your Holy Spirit minister to each one of us, Jehovah God, that your word may reach many through this media Jehovah. we thank you and we bless you for this we pray believing and trusting in jesus name amen my message today let me remove this a bit my message today is as uh, god's great love and uh, our reader has read for us well from the book of isaiah 62 and acts 11 19 to 20 as i was deliberating on this word I was thinking of the plan that God had for the nation. And God's plan to bless all nations of the world is through Abraham, when he had the Abrahamic covenant in Genesis 12, 2 to 3. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. All the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. This was a promise that God made many, many years ago. And as we wait upon him, we have seen his blessings in our life. And God chose Israel as an example to point out his intention for creating us. And it doesn't matter what your life is like at this moment when we are going through this difficult time. We just have to know that God is still there with us because he has a good plan for each one of us. And in the book of Joel, God is urging his people to return to him and he will have pity on his people. We know our God is very, very merciful. He will never leave us nor forsake us. And this is the promise he made through his blessing. And this is the time he used Isaiah. Isaiah was a man of unclean lips and he confessed that because he was living among people with unclean lips. And God used him in a mighty way because he sent an angel to put coals in his lips and his lips were touched with a coal. And he prophesied about the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. He focused on the main role of Jerusalem in God's plan for the world. And Isaiah, when he was touched with a coal, saw the glory of God and understood who God was and understood the truth of the word of God. And I'll read for you from Isaiah, Isaiah 6. Isaiah 6 verse 6, and that is when Isaiah agreed to go and preach the word of God, because God was asking, whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Let us look at Isaiah chapter 6 verse 6, so that we understand why God was using Isaiah to proclaim, to proclaim his word. In Isaiah 6, from verse 6, then one of the seraphims flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongues from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin is atoned. And this is where the Lord sent Jesus Christ to come and atone for our sins. And this was prophesied long, long time ago. 
And when Jesus came, he came to cleanse us from all our sins and from all our wickedness. And that's the time when uh, Isaiah agreed to, to go and be used of the Lord. And he said, here am I, send me. And he was told to go and tell the people what the Lord had said. And as we come to our reading today, in Isaiah 62, God is so concerned about his church. And that is where he's saying, in Isaiah 62, 1, For Zion's sake, I will not keep silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not remain silent. God has never been silent about his church. And we're seeing the way he's using his people to spread the word all over the world so that his people may hear from him. We saw how people are going to the streets and they are kneeling down and praying where they had closed all the churches and they were not going to church. So we should not take that for granted. And our God has not rested since eternity. He wants all mankind to be redeemed. God is proclaiming and speaking to us today. By his grace, he has called us to himself. And his righteousness shines out like the dawn. And that's where we see in the book of uh, Isaiah 62, till her righteousness shines out like the dawn, her salvation like a blazing torch. And I was, when I was reading here, there's a time our reverend came and he had a torch which was placed on the table. And we were wondering why the torch is on. And this came to me so clearly about the blazing torch because people were given that torch to go and proclaim the word of God. We didn't know would come to a time like this when we cannot go out there now and proclaim this word to the Lord. So when we have that opportunity, let's, let's make use of it so that we can reach out to the people and that we can shine out to other people. Even when the churches are not gathering, let us preach to people who we are near to, people in our places of work, where we are going into business. Let us not keep quiet because the, the Lord has said he will not keep silent, he will not be quiet. And this is our message, we should not be silent, we should not keep quiet. Let us proclaim the word of the Lord so that all the nations may come to know him. We should always be ready to give the world the reason for our hope that lies within us. And who is our righteousness? Our righteousness is Jesus Christ himself. Jesus became a servant. He became obedient, even obedient unto the cross. God has never been silent. He has worked out our salvation and reconciled us to himself. What is the glory we possess as Zion? That is the church of the living God. We are the body of Christ. God has taken us from his present darkness like the one we are in, God is going to take us from this darkness. It is not going to last for long because we are his kingdom and we are his heirs, because we are his dear sons and his dear daughters. And in First Peter, when the Lord said he has chosen us, we are his chosen, we are his chosen people. That is what we should know, that we are his chosen people and we are never going to depart from his presence. And in the book of uh, Galatians, uh, in Galatians, Paul was speaking to them, and he told them that we have received an adoption as sons and daughters. We are no longer slaves, but sons. God has made you an heir. That's the glory we have. Everything Jesus earned through his suffering is yours. Jesus is our wisdom, our righteousness, our, our holiness, and our redemption. But when speaking to the, in Corinth, in 1 Corinthians 131, Paul said, he that glory, let him glory in the Lord. So my sisters and my brothers, during this time, let us glory in the Lord. And I thank you, Elder, for what you have just said. That sometimes we need to move out from what we are hearing in the media. Sometimes it can be mind boggling. And like uh, we had taken leave and uh, went to stay with my grandson and uh, we were watching cartoons, and I was just, you know, I was just feeling so good, you know, just sitting there and relaxing. I don't watch cartoons, but I, I got the opportunity to sit there and just know what it's all about and what is mesmerizing him. So I, I got to get out of those media things and how many people are dying, because when we get to that, our minds, our minds will, be, will be absorbed into thinking, oh God, I'm going to die tomorrow. Oh God, what will happen next? So let us not be troubled because Jesus Christ came to save us. Let our hearts have rest in the Lord. 
because the Lord will give us his peace because he wants to see the experience of his love in us. And you will be called by a new name. That is our chapter where we have read 62, verse 2, there's part B. You will be called by a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. And we saw in the book of uh, Acts 11, after the stoning of Stephen in the church in Antioch, where we will be given the new name when we come to the Lord Jesus Christ. After the persecution, Barnabas, they went out to preach to the Greeks. The other people were preaching only to the Jews, but there are those who went out to Cyprus and they went and preached to the Greeks because the Greeks were Gentiles. And in Antioch is where the church, is where the first disciples were called Christians. And that was a new name. And God is saying he's giving you a new name, the name Christian. And I just want to, you to ponder and ask you, are you proud to call yourself a Christian? Do you go out there and proudly say that I am a Christian, I am of the kingdom of God? Let us proclaim the name Jesus Christ in everywhere that we go. Because even the, the Gentiles, they also became, became children of God and they came to the kingdom of Christ. In verse 3, we see about the crown of glory. And that is where our main theme is from, about this crown of glory. Who is the crown of glory? The crown of glory is you and me. Because in the hands of God, we are his crown. The Lord has held us in high esteem. And that is why he wants to give us a new crown. And he wants us to glorify him. He wants us to proclaim and tell the people who he is and what he is in our life. And he also goes on to say, a royal diadem in the hand of your God. A royal diadem, he has engraved us in the palm of his hand. And that's why you are precious in the eyes of God. Because a royal diadem is something very precious. Like when you have a ring on the finger, there are people who go for those very expensive stones like ruby, diamond, those are precious stones. That is how precious you are in the eyes of God. And then the Lord says in verse 4, No longer will they call you deserted or your name desolate. We were people without hope when we didn't know Jesus Christ. And in Ephesians 2, we are told who we were without Christ. But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ. Because we didn't know him, we were sinners, and we were lost in our sins. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to come and save us because of his mercy. And that is why today we are alive, because of Christ. Or name your land desolate, but you will be called Hevziba. Hevziba means by delight, and we are the Lord's delight. The Lord will delight in you, and your land will be married. Who will marry the land? The land will be married by the Lord Jesus Christ. Because of God's, when we glorify God, he will marry the land. And like now we are facing these hardships in Kenya. People have lost their jobs. People have closed businesses. And they don't know what to do next. But the Lord will marry our land. And we have seen we have not gone hungry because we've been supplying foodstuffs to our members, to people who are not able and people have been donating. So God is using his people in a mighty way, even during these hard times. When we experience what God has done for us, we will want to spend time in the church. Because the church, that is where we come for restoration. That's where we come to find our peace in the presence of God. We want to spend time with the children of God. We gather and sing and praise our God as we rejoice to what God has done for us. And these moments, many people are missing this time when they cannot come and rejoice in the Lord. Because some people just come to church just for the sake of coming. They'll come to church late. They will miss church for no good reason. They'll give excuses because it was raining. My child was not feeling well. But now they are missing coming to church and they don't have that opportunity. And most of them did not get to know the Lord that time when they were coming to church to gather with the people. But the Lord doesn't care about these buildings. The Lord cares about our heart. 
That is where he is with us, with our hearts. He wants to show himself in us. So, dear brethren, as you come there before the Lord, just know that the Lord just wants your heart. He just wants you to rejoice in him and to love him, and he will show you his great love. So, my dear brethren, I urge you this morning, repent and believe in the gospel message. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Every knee shall bow, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And I just want to urge you there, who are not saved, who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal savior, you take this opportunity when you hear the word of God to come forth and give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ because that is where you'll find your peace. That is where you find your livelihood. And these times would not be difficult at all because you know who will come to your rescue. The Lord will stand with you despite these difficult times. When you don't have a job, when things are difficult in the home, the children are at home, God will come through for you and he will take care of everything that you need. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. We thank you, Sister Julie, because of that wonderful and powerful message. Thank you for reminding us that we are loved. And by knowing that, we'll stay in perfect peace because he is Emmanuel, God with us. Thank you very much. Uh, tutaendelea na wakati huu ni wakati wa kuombea sadaka na matoleo asante unaweza tuma matoleo yako na namba ya account the, the equity account number iko hapo inaonekana hapo kwa screen tuobe baba katika jina lako takatifu tunashukuru jina lako tunasema ni asanti tunasema wewe ni Mungu hakuna mwingine kama wewe tumeona wema wako tumeona nguvu zako tumeona hata upendo ambao unatupenda nao na ndio maana ukatufanya vibe vipya hata wakati huu tunashukuru jina lako na kusema ni asanti baba ni asanti kwa vile umetubariki umebariki biashara zetu umebariki ajira zetu na ndio maana tumetoa kando baadhi ya zile tumepata Dio siweze, siweze kufanya kazi yako katika nyumba yako takatifu. Baba tunaomba uweze kuziteua, uweze kuzibariki zinapoendelea kufanya hiyo kazi katika nyumba yako. Baba ni asanti kwa wale ambao wapendwa ambao wan, wanapitia janga kuu. Kuna wale wamepoteza ajira zao, kuna wale wamepoteza biashara zao. Baba tunawaleta mkononi mwako uweze kuambariki waonekanie na njia na uonekanie baba na, na ile jia utaweza kuonekania nao baba ni asanti tunaoba baba uwape mbalaka zako tunapo tuna, baba tunashukuru tunasema ni asanti na ni katika jina la Yesu tumeoba na hata kuamini amen asante elda uh, kanisa tunaomba tuendelee ku support kazi ya Mungu Na Mungu huwa anaangalia roho kwanza. Tutoe roho zetu kwa Mungu na tuende maisha tuendelee na maisha yetu Yesu Kristo akiwa ndiye kiongozi wetu. Baada ya kutoa roho ni vizuri pia hii kazi ya Mungu tuendelee kuisupport vile tumeendelea na vile tumezoea na Mungu ataendelea kutubariki. Kuna mambo bado yanaendelea kanisani na ndio maana kila wakati huwa tunasema hata kama mtu wako nyumbani Hakuna kitu kidogo cha kutoa. Mungu huangalia ule upendo ambao uko ndani ya kile ambacho umetoa. Sababu kuna wakati Yesu Kristo alisema kwamba kuna mama alitoa shilingi mbili na kuna tajiri alitoa pesa mingi sana na yule alitoa shilingi mbili akawa ndiye alikuwa ametoa nyingi sababu alitoa na upendo na pia alitoa kile alikuwa nacho. Kwa hivyo tuendelee hakuna kitu kidogo hakuna kitu kikubwa machoni pa Mungu ni vile mtu ako na upendo ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Asante sana brother. Tumefika tamati na asante sana washirika wetu sababu ya kuwa pamoja nasi. Tunamshukuru Mungu sana. Na tunaomba hata Jumapili ijayo kama hatutakuwa tumeambiwa turudi kanisani bado tutapatana hapa hapa tu na tutaendelea kubarikiwa. Kwa hivyo Mungu awabariki. 
tunaombea ushindi katika mambo ambayo mnafanya tunaomba Mungu awalinde hii wiki yote tunaomba Mungu awaongoze na alinde familia zetu walio na huzuni wakati huu Mungu aendelee kuwapa nguvu na Mungu atatusaidia ako pamoja nasi hakuna kuogopa tuombe ili tumalize Mwenyezi Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo umekuwa pamoja nazi nasi tangu mwanzo mpaka wakati huu tunaomba uendelee kuwa nasi sababu tunakutamania wewe tushike mkono maana wewe ndiye Mungu wetu and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore amen god bless you